Hello and welcome to another episode of Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host, Rob Bentley, and thanks for tuning in. On today's show, we'll recap another Ferris State football victory. We'll check in with Bulldog Hockey as they get their season going, and we'll update you on the Ferris State women's tennis team. We'll start first, though, with Bulldog football and joined by head coach Tony Anise. And coach, welcome back to the show. Thanks, Rob. Obviously, uh, you've had some long road trips this year, but a, a shorter trip this past weekend, and nice to go to Davenport and come away with a 35-7 to win. Yeah, very concerned about uh, Davenport going in the game. Um, you know, A.J.'s got that defense playing great, and, uh, and so we really wanted to kind of assert ourselves with the run game downhill at them. They play so fast side to side, and they got such great cover guys. So we wanted to establish the run, um, run downhill, and I thought we were able to do that. Second straight week, uh, you've taken on one of your, your former assistant coaches as a head coach in the GLIAC. How difficult is that challenge, uh, knowing that he knows uh, your system so yeah, well? Yeah, there were seven guys over there on Saturday that had either played for us or uh, coached for us. So uh, it's neat to see. You know, I'm proud of uh, how much, uh, you know, these guys like Sparky and and his staff, is, uh, you know, they've done a really nice job. Um, I texted him. I said, nobody really could have done what you've done at Davenport. They've really been... Uh, very competitive and in really short order. We go to some of the highlights of the game. Uh, got off to a good start uh, in your opening drive. Is uh, defense uh, really set it up for you and played well throughout the afternoon? Yeah, the defense played great. Uh, I thought we contained them really well. And uh, you know, we started out uh, third down. We had to make a big pass uh, to be on our open, and that was huge to, to get down to the one yard line coming up here. But um, yeah, the defense put pressure on them all day. We ran around. And, and made plays here. Uh, you know, James Caesar gets a pick, and uh, I think, <coughs> excuse me, I think he's had four picks in two games. But here's the screen here. Um, wasn't perfect, but uh, you know, Dion made uh, some people miss and got down the one, and Evan scored the very next play. Evan Cummins comes on here to score his first of four touchdowns on the ground uh, here on the afternoon. Yeah, you know, he's a big physical guy. He's really good. You can see, you know, he's still on his feet there. Uh, he's really good at. Uh, you know, just running, running downhill and, and finding open space. As Davenport gets the ball back here, maybe talk about how in, impressive the play was on your on your defensive line. Obviously, uh, missing a couple key guys up front. Yeah, you know, we're we keep on uh, building our depth. You know, we're missing a couple key guys, but uh, it's been good. Here we fake a punt here and Cy, uh on fourth and short. You know, he's a big threat and and he's also a good punter. Play uh, here defensively as you get the stop on Davenport, and uh, it seemed like they. Really had trouble moving the ball against you. Allowed 62 yards uh, in the contest. Yeah, you know, for the most part, it was, uh, you know, it was our defense controlling the game. Um, there we took a shot and they got a, a big pick. Uh, you know, Cy, it looked like caught the ball and the DB took uh, took it from him as they were going down. But uh, yeah, I thought Austin Evers played great. Avante Bell played great. Our secondary hero, Mari McCauley, almost gets a pick. So all in all, it was great uh, balance on defense, special teams. Good as well. Um, I thought Jackson, you know, he, he kicked off just booming kickoffs, and and then, <coughs> excuse me, and then, uh, you know, we played hard in a lot of different spaces. There, Evan, uh, you know, just kind of runs him over, and, and from eight yards out, just uh, gets to the end zone. Is that a big score? Give you a 14 to nothing lead, which uh, it'll stand going into halftime uh, here shortly. And nice to have that two touchdown advantage going into the break. Yeah, it was important and um, you know, I, I, I just felt the way the defense was playing, we weren't going to take a lot of chances. Um, you know, there's a lot of times we just did what we did right there. Austin never sacked them and, and so we wanted to just keep, uh, you know, stay steady and, and uh, you know, keep grinding the ball out at him. So Travis Russell right there, how nice was it to have him back in uniform? It was great, you know, shuffling quarterbacks, but uh, um, you know, it's always important to have him. He's a key, key part of our team for sure. Big touchdown run right here from Marvin Campbell in the third quarter and uh, really broke the game open with three scores here in the third. Yeah, that was our first possession of our third quarter. I thought Marvin uh, had a great run there, but it was key, I thought, to, to score in the first possession third quarter. I was a little nervous because they scored 25 points in the fourth quarter last week, so I kept on trying to stay tuned in to, you know, just closing it out. But. Um, here, uh, Marcus uh, does a nice job running up the sidelines, and, and we get a good rhythm offensively in the second half and score on three straight possessions. 317 yards rushing, and uh, that offensive line, uh, kind of like the defensive line, really building a lot of depth. Yeah, you know, we play nine on a regular basis. Uh, Coach Parker shuffle, shuffling them in, in and out like crazy. So a uh, lot, of, lot of experience there, a lot of opportunities to play. 
this game uh, obviously uh, close to Big Rapids, uh, just down in Grand Rapids. Uh, how nice is it to have a, a school like Davenport now in the GLIAC and in a short trip? Oh, it's great. It's great. Uh, you know, we first off we need, you know, we need enough schools to play in the GLIAC, but. Uh, you know, it's hard when you just start uh, in this league, but, you know, they've gotten competitive uh, really quickly, and uh, they've got really good players, and they coach them hard. But what, what sets uh, Sparking a staff apart is really just how, how uh, you know, the kids are so committed to, to every down. It's just, uh, it's a war. Even when it's 35 to nothing, they were still coming and bringing it. So they always bring it, uh, always bring it with a lot of energy. This week, uh, second straight road game as you travel to Wayne State. First uh, trip to Detroit since uh, 2012. Yeah, 2012, long time ago. Um, my first year, I think we were down 21 to nothing in that game and came back and won it. But uh, that was them being one year removed from being a national championship game. But uh, it's going to be huge implications. Uh, you know, uh, we went to Davenport and I was like, dang, they're undefeated. Well, now. You know, the winner of this next uh, game on Saturday with, with, with uh, Wayne State will have a, a one-game lead in the GLIAC. So we're the only two left that are um, undefeated in, in uh, GLIAC play. Maybe talk about uh, the trip to Wayne State, and obviously a homecoming for a lot of your guys that are from the Detroit area. Yeah, you know, our guys are excited. I, I kind of alluded to that earlier uh, in one of the other times I was on the year when we talked about homecoming here. I said our, our next homecoming will be at Wayne State because uh, our guys have been looking forward to going back home. We've got a lot of kids from that area, um, and we haven't been there since 2012, so it'll be exciting. They've certainly uh, got it going uh, here in the last couple of weeks. Maybe talk about uh, what it takes to go there and, and get a victory. Well, you know, yeah, they've really, they've really established the run. They've gotten back to just, you know, really doing a good job on the run. So, uh, you know, we gotta, we got to contain that. You know, we've been able to do very, very well the last few weeks, um, you know, controlling the run game. And, and so, um, you know, their offense is, is hit, hitting its stride. Um, and, they, you know, they've beaten, beaten two GLIAC opponents in a row and, and Saginaw and uh, Northern Michigan. So, uh, you know, it'll, it'll be definitely a test. Maybe talk a little bit about the, the resiliency of your guys. Obviously, a tough three weeks to open the year, and uh, it seems like it uh, keeps getting harder and harder as the year goes on. Well, it couldn't be any better than sitting here at 5-0, and oh, right? So, uh, you know, you sit there and, and you examine it, and sometimes, like, you just don't appreciate being 5-0. and oh, and, and I think, uh, you know, we're all spoiled a little bit because, um, you know, we've had so much success. But uh, just, you know, looking back and going back to the Finley game, and thinking about, um, you know, the the nerves I had trying to get to this point, and then to look at it and say, dang, you know, we're five and zero, oh, and we've set ourselves up, you know, um, we're set up to to go to Wayne State if we can win that game. It puts us, uh, you know, in a one game lead with uh, everybody with four to go, and so, um, you know, that's goal number one is to win the GLIAC. So I love where we are right now. We just keep on, got to keep on grinding and keep on improving. Coach, thanks for being with us. Congratulations on the 5-0 start, and uh, best of luck at Wayne State this Saturday. Thanks, Rob. I appreciate it. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.